this is why we come to work every day, right? For outcomes like this, these are these are the the patients that keep us going and and keep us striving to do better every day. I'm a food service worker. I was wiping down the coffee station in the front, and then I just got real lightheaded. So I tried to make my way over to the seat to sit down, which is back behind the coffee station a little bit. Uh, I was sitting there. One of my coworkers came up to me. She said I was sitting there crying. And she said she hugged me and she said I tried to say something to her, but I was just mumbling. My words wouldn't come out. Uh, so she went to go and get help for me. I'm an emergency physician and EMS physician of 25 years, and I joined the team at Lilly about two years ago to oversee our occupational health and on-site medical services. I was in our employee health services clinic on the morning that this incident happened. Um, and as soon as Ms. Jackson went down, um, a bystander ran down to our employee health clinic and notified myself and our staff that someone was in need of medical assistance. So we uh, moved very quickly down to the cafeteria where we found Ms. Jackson. Um, really, it was very apparent from the beginning that she was suffering from, a, from an acute stroke. And at this point, it was all about getting emergency medical services, our Lily Fire Rescue Ambulance and medical care team on site and getting her transported, you know, not just to any hospital, but to a comprehensive stroke center, uh, you know, a, a facility like IU Methodist that it was really able to render world-class, top-notch care in a very quick fashion. We get the call, uh, we activate a, um, what we call a stroke one here at Methodist when a patient with stroke symptoms comes into the emergency room. So that system was activated. Um, I responded uh, to the ER at that point it was pretty obvious that uh, Tamika was having a stroke. She had uh, weakness on her right side and she was having trouble with language, getting her words out properly. Uh, and so uh, we did a, a quick CT scan and determined that there was no hemorrhage, that this was not a hemorrhagic type of stroke. Uh, at the same time, we saw uh, on our pictures of her blood vessels in her head and neck that one of the main blood vessels was uh, blocked by a blood clot. So that's a clot, that's indicative of a clot sitting right there in the blood vessel. Quickly, uh, we delivered a clot busting medication that's called Tenecteplase, uh, and we gave that to her intra intravenously, uh, and then took her up to our uh, endovascular suite uh, where we were planning to uh, remove that clot with uh, a, what, a device called a uh, mechanical or a procedure called a mechanical thrombectomy, uh, a device known as a, a stent retriever or a clot retriever. Uh, but actually by the time we got in there and started taking pictures to find that clot again, uh, it was gone. We shot uh, some dye into that artery and that uh, clot buster had opened up or dissolved the clot, which would have been sitting right here. And now all these vessels and branches are open. I was here for four days. I spent three days in ICU and then one day in the regular unit. Early identification of stroke symptoms is, is probably one of the best things that we can do to truly impact somebody's outcome. Fortunately, they had doctors on site that can easily recognize the symptoms of a stroke, but uh, you know we want the public to be aware of, of stroke symptoms as well. We tell people to remember the phrase, be fast and each letter stands for one of the symptoms. If you have sudden changes in balance, sudden changes in your eyes or your vision, sudden facial droop, sudden arm weakness or numbness, or sudden changes in your speech, then the last letter T is time to call 911. So be fast. The EMS crew that, that found her and transported her here did an excellent job. But to see an outcome like this, it's, just, it's truly remarkable and I'm, I'm so thankful that she's doing well. Because of everything they did that I am here and still able to do everything I normally do. They looked over me and I thanked them. Like they really saved my life.